Hello, my name is Kurt, and this is Simple Shop Creation. And in this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating steps from some boulders, rocks, and cement. Now, in front of you is the area where I'm going to create steps. Just look for the arrow that's going to pop up, and that's where the step's going to be. So with that, let's continue on with the process of building the steps. Over here, you're going to see, I'm going to start to remove some rocks here, or a piece of boulder. I think that's probably around 30 pounds that one boulder there that i pulled out and as you can see there's only soil in the back these boulders are um, leaned maybe out of 15 degrees five degrees angle so there's no nothing in behind them and they've been there for about well well over 20 years now here i'm going to go get a spade to help me remove that bottom boulder and that bottom boulder is probably close to 80 pounds when i go to lift however uh, you won't see me lift it because my wonderful dog, Briggs, decides to come about and knock the camera over, which you will see here in a second or two. There you have it. It's been removed. Now, uh, coming up here, you can see where I put back that 80-pound boulder and then now placed the bottom step. And the bottom step's approximately two inches thick. I think it's sandstone or something like that. And I will be digging around that sandstone and putting that down flush with the grass. But before I do that, I will be mixing some cement and put that down first. And then I will place that step or the bottom step uh, in the cement to lock it in. Well, there you have it. The hole is finally dug. Now we're going to move on to the next step is mixing up some cement. So it's time to have some laughs as you see me mix up the cement because I'm all thumbs when it comes to doing cement work. Now here, still not doing the cement work. I lied to you. Here I'm just adding some clay sand to the bottom of that uh, hole that I dug because it's clay soil and it's quite wet. So therefore, by putting that play sand there, I create a nice dry barrier for the cement to lay on top of. And then also I get to fit the um, piece the bottom step a little better, as you can see there. So once that's done, we're going to move on to actually me attempting to cement that into the ground. So stay tuned for that. So finally here, we're going to go ahead and start to mix some cement. I'm actually not using cement, I'm using mortar. I would see there it's like a 10 pound plastic container of cement that you can mix right in there. I think it takes two and a half cups of water, but being that it's so hot outside, it actually took about three, maybe four cups of water because it, it just kept on drying a little too fast. So just keep on adding water and keep it a little bit soupy. Now, I would not use that bucket or that small little container there to mix in that cement. It was a real pain in the butt uh, mixing it. Using that, I would move into a bigger container, five-gallon bucket or something, wheelbarrow or whatever. But you'll see here that I'm just going to plop it down and then plop some more down. And then I will put the step, the bottom step on top and then put some cement around it to lock it in place. Eventually, that cement that goes around it, when you see the picture coming up, a finished product uh, or the finished bottom step uh, that'll eventually crack and go away and then the grass and weeds whatever start to fill in that uh, that gap there that will crack and go away from mowing the lawn weed whacking and all other great stuff so continue on let's continue on watching um, me attempt to do some uh, cement work here And there you have it. The bottom step is in. Now to the rest of the project. Now here you can see, I removed the boulder, put some play sand down. I'm gonna pat it down here a few seconds here, and then I'm gonna have to cover it all up as the weather has changed. And it will start to rain very shortly. So here in a minute or less, you'll see that I covered up with a blue tarp and I put my wheelbarrow over it 
though when it did rain it would pretty much be covered up because again the clay soil down below likes to retain water not very good at draining thus I need to cover it but here in a few seconds we will go back another day and I'll start the cement process right now there you can see I already mixed the cement this time I used the wheelbarrow and I'm still using the mortar mortar that I uh, had so I just mixed it shoved it in there Put it in the hole there, spread it around, and then eventually we'll lift that boulder into place. Wiggle it, jiggle it a little bit, step back, look and see how it looks, move it around, and then we're done with that, and then we're going to have to move on to the second level step, and then the third level, etc, etc, etc. So we'll be right back with that. But here we are. Getting ready to do the second step. First, I have to dig out a little further. Got to push that second step back a little further back. It'll be sticking out too far in front of the boulder. So that's what I'm doing here is just clearing this stuff around. Trying to make it a little deeper, flatter. I can use some of that soil back into there to support the back of the step. And we're going to pat it down and pat it down. And then we're going to stop after we pat it down because this is dated before. It's kind of really hot out there. So once I finish putting all that clay back in and patting it down, break for the day and come back a couple of days later and then cement the second step in. But before we go, don't forget to subscribe. Leave some comments down below. As I said before, I don't uh, do any form of cement work, so again, all thumbs, you know, just have to get out there and do it. If it looks bad, nothing a 10-pound sledgehammer can't take care of. A couple wax, and you can redo it again, at least in this case. Well, we'll be back in a little bit to do the cement of the second step. So here we are, new day, new morning, staying brutal heat. Now here I'm just using regular cement. I'm not using the mortar that I was using before. I'm going to use the regular cement for the bottom step and the bottom of the mold, uh, boulder. But, hey, who really cares? It's just a step, nothing uh, too fancy. So here you can see I'm just putting in uh, the cement, put that little rock there to level it out. Then we're going to go ahead and... Put the rest of the cement around, and that's it. And then we're going to move on to doing the final step, the third step. And we're also going to put some rock, smaller rocks, in the back there to cover up that soil. And then we'll put the third step on the top of the grass here. I'll cut it out. And then um, we'll finish it up and wash it down, and then we'll have a set of steps. So here we are it's time to put the top step in here as you can see i'm going to go ahead and place it i'm going to take a shovel cut around it play around with some rocks there and see how it looks and then again i'm going to take that spade cut around it move some dirt and move some grass get it at a good height and then we're going to go ahead and cement it in I'm using cement and not mortar this time keep on using cement and then we'll be done with that. We'll let that uh, dry for a day. And then we'll come back and we'll finish the rest of the steps by putting some rocks in between the second step and the third step to cover that soil in the back there. So go ahead and enjoy the rest of this part. And then we'll be back to do the final part of putting the rocks in between the second and third step.
Finally here, we're in the last step of making these steps um, out of the rocks and boulders that you see here in front of you. Now what I'm doing is I'm just basically going to take those smaller rocks and then cement them in between the second and, and the third step. Now the mix I'm using is a mortar. I'm not using cement, I'm using mortar. However, I mix it with some um, anchor cement, which is a no-no because the anchor cement dries considerably faster. I think but Within an hour, it's supposed to cure or fully cure or something like that and uh, mortar cement of course takes uh, much longer to fully cure plus the uh, addition of the heat um, it's really making that cement uh, dry really quick it starts to crumble real quick so going back and forth between the wheelbarrow mixing throwing water in and then putting it putting it on the rocks and then placing the rocks in there um, you know how hot it is dog didn't even want to come out when I uh, went out to start that uh, process he stuck his head out the, the patio door did a couple sniffs then went back in and decided to lay on the, the tile floor where was nice and cool so I'm out there finishing this up won't take too much longer I'm just finished up you'll see the completed project here coming up here in a minute or so uh, the tools didn't really take too many tools. You basically see I had a uh, rubber mallet. I have that uh, some the large cement trowel, and then uh, that little small one is a tile trowel um, that I'm using there. Uh, and then you had the spade shovel there back there, and then uh, various um, forms of cement. Uh, I probably could have done the whole thing in just cement, and not mix between the cement and, and mortar. Well, we're coming to the end of this uh, video here, a little less than a minute to the left. So with that, uh, hope everybody has a happy and healthy day. Until the next video, enjoy the rest of this video.